Hey, how's it going everyone? This is GC Performance here. Today I have you guys the Tarmac Pro frame that we did a custom build up on. It's a size 56. Built with SRAM Force, 12 speed, and Reynolds wheels. Comes in at 17 pounds even. Kilos, it is 7.70 kilos. Stay tuned to after the video where we're gonna be doing a free body sound test on these wheels right here. Thank you guys. What is going on everyone? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you guys the brand new Tarmac Pro SL7 frame set. Uh, this frame set retail for $3,000 alone, and then we did a custom build on it. We went ahead and put SRAM Force uh, 2x12 speed on there, and then we decked out with Reynolds AR58X front and the AR62X rear. So 58 front is gonna be the depth on the front, 62 is gonna be the depth on the rear as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you guys everything that came on this bike. Also the retail on this thing came in right around I want to say after we got done with the build, like 7500 which is underneath the price of the new pro prices for 7800 as well. Um, and then as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, um, it weighed in right around 17 pounds even. That is with Continental 5000s. Those are 700 by 28s. That's not tubeless. And, uh, you know, we have a little bit of a heavier group on there. But I'll kind of show you guys everything that came on this bike, and then uh, we'll get right into it. So uh, frame cost right around three grand. We went ahead and decked out with the zip sl70 handlebar so it's a full carbon fiber bar uh reason for that is because we couldn't find any airfly twos at the moment but still i think this look looks amazing with the matte on gloss carbon there and then you have the matte on gloss carbon here so this is the zip logo right here the uh cables are ran underneath the bars right there so you guys can kind of see it goes boom boom underneath here to the stem uh it comes with sram force shifters on here two by twelve and you have super cast bar tape right here as well that we did the reverse wrap on, which I think looks really clean. Let me get out of the way for that. So boom, come right down there. And then you plug it right there as well. I did a video on that previously before if you wanna see how you guys do that as well. Um, with the Tarmac Pro, it comes with the specialized Tarmac Pro stem. Main difference between this stem and the S-Works stem is that this one does not say S-Works right here, just says specialized. And then the bolts are going to be a black paint similar to like you would say like on the uh, the Venge back in the day. The only thing I'll say compared to these ones, this does look cooler, but um, they will corrode quickly if you sweat on them or salt water or whatever you got in there. Um, so you can see right there, these are the SL70 Aero handlebars by Zip. Uh, going down to the wheels, these are the Reynolds AR58X. Uh, 58 stands for the depth of the rim on there. You do have a Reynolds front hub on here. And then we chose to do the rotors as a 140 uh, millimeter rotor on there because of the fact that we couldn't find any 160s to be honest with you but 140 here for south florida um and then also we did a gp 5000 700 by 20 tire it is not tubeless ready the tire but the rims are tubeless ready so very cool looking tire beefy comfortable and uh yeah i think it looks really good so this bike is an all matte black bike and then you have a the matte white logo on the front the specialized logo down, down the center and then this is a fact carbon 10R. So the main difference between the Pro and the S-Works is that this is going to be a 10R frame and the S-Works is going to be a 12R frame. These can still be made into one by if you wanted to, but here in Florida, we just did a two by just because that's all we had in stock. So a two by front derailleur. We went with a 4835 front chain ring. You have a 12 speed chain on here with a SRAM force crank. The crank arms are carbon fiber and it is a eight bolt direct mount. So you can swap this out if you like. Going to the rear, we have a 10 by 26 cassette, uh, all black SRAM Force cassette, looks really clean. And then you have your SRAM Force rear derailleur on here as well. Batteries are interchangeable if you do have a Force Grupo or Red Grupo with a front rear derailleur. So if you ever run out of juice for the rear, you can go ahead and swap it with the front pretty easily. Um, and like I said, usually all these bikes will come with inside the box a Brazon, derail Brazon adapter remover and a rubber cover plate for the uh, front derailleur part. Going into the rear as well, we have a 140 millimeter rotor again, just again, because we couldn't get any 160s, but still, I think it complements it really nice. It looks great. It is an AR62 X rear wheel in the back, 62 millimeter depth for the rear. And then, uh, yes, going to the bottom bracket here as well, we have a threaded BB. This is new for this year. Threaded bottom bracket BSA 24, but on here this is going to be a SRAM dub bottom bracket uh, that works with this thing. Again, it is a force crank, but you can hear the Reynolds hub 
And if you guys want, stay tuned to after the video, you guys will hear that full free body sound test in the stand. What makes this bike so special is it has a fully integrated front cockpit. So the cables are ran underneath the handlebar, underneath the stem right here, down here, into the frame, and then front cable there, front cable there. You have the SL7 proprietary seat post right here with a full integrated wedge right there as well for the seat post. This is where the DI2 junction box would be at if it was SRAM red. I'm sorry, Shimano DI2. This is a SRAM version, so they do have a cover play right here. And then we have a power expert saddle and a 143 setup. All in all, very beautiful bike. This bike is in stock, so if you're local around the area, you can come on in and pick it up. Like I said, our retail on it's 7,500 as we built it up. Uh, that's just with the parts, everything we picked, and um, weighed in at around 17 pounds. So let me know what you guys think on the bike. Let me go. I know they have the white colors come in. We don't have any of the white colors available right now, but we are getting more of a full size running. 52, 54, 56, and 58. So if you guys are interested, uh, we also have different wheels, but I think this bike looks clean as is. They did a really good job on there, so. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all next video. Bye. Oh, also guys, before I forget, uh, if you guys were wondering, if you do order the Pro Frame, you do get the integrated mount for the Garmin and the Wahoo and the GoPro mount. That all does come standard, so. 7,500 bucks, ain't a bad deal. You get everything that you would get with an Estrix frame, just not the Estrix carbon. 3,000 compared to 5,000, it's a pretty good deal. And um, like I said, if you guys are interested in the area, come on by if you wanna put any different wheels on it. We have different wheels, but we just thought that that look, uh, the Reynolds AR58X look way better with the matte and gloss and the matte and gloss bar and the matte bike. I think the contrast looks really good. But uh, thank you guys again so much. If you guys don't mind, check out GC Performance YouTube or gcperformanceyt.com. That's where I sell my merch at. Uh, we got, you know, I got dang sweaters. I got uh, shirts. I got uh, dad hats. I got everything. So and that's going to help me continue to do these giveaways I have coming up. Uh, I know I haven't done one since 5,000, but I figure I can do it when I'm miles to only 10,000. I want to kind of take care of you guys and hook you guys up since you guys have been so good. So I've enjoyed it. You guys have been great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, guys. So we got here the Reynolds uh ar 58 front 62 rear x uh, i'm gonna do a free body sound test right now for you here we go all right everyone thank you guys again so much for checking out this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye yeah the last video i did was short by a second no you're good bro I'm just doing this for a little bit. Hey, if you guys are wondering why my thumb is doing this, it's because I was a second away from me eight seconds for eight minutes. So, sorry. I love you guys.